Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and New Orleans Tech. This is my first 24 hours with the HP NV8 Note tablet running full Windows 10, guys. So I'm kind of give you my first 24 hours impression about this device. It also comes with a welcome a pin and uh, it has a welcome digitizer. So follow me on this journey. Get your popcorn ready. Let's go. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video. Today I'm gonna to explore uh, the new the HP MV8 the tablet here um, for the Windows and has the Windows 10 platform on it. Right now I got it in tablet mode and the reason why is because uh, running it in the uh, desktop mode, some of the icons and stuff look kind of small. So uh, right now I'm running this device in uh, tablet mode. This device, guys, has the Atom 5, X5Z8300, uh, clocked at 1.44 gigahertz, uh, 2 gigs of RAM, and 32 gigs of storage complemented by a micro SD card. So, it has the, the, uh, the capability of expanded storage. Uh, let's, let's make sure we understand that a lot of people might think, oh, 32 gigs of storage is not a lot. Believe me, it's not a lot. Uh, Windows 10 is taking up uh, about half the storage, uh, and some of the apps that's pre-installed also take up a lot of storage. Uh, when I looked at uh, the storage that I had, it was only maybe about... Uh, 11 or 12 gigs available to the user uh, so that was a bummer but I put a 64 gig uh, SSD card in there uh, I'm sorry micro SD card in here and uh, I went into my settings and I uh, pointed all my downloads my documents my music and everything to the SD card so it won't go on the tablet itself so as far as storage Ah, that's no big deal. Now, here's the only problem uh, about, uh, you know, pointing all your documents and games and apps to your uh, micro SD card. You got to make sure you have a fast micro SD card. Uh, so when you uh, open the app, it runs from the micro SD card instead of the uh, device itself. My first 24 hours, guys, I can tell you, once I uh, booted this device up, uh, it went, It had a major update, a major update. It took about two hours, which was fine. Uh, so I let the update uh, do its thing, and uh, after the update, guys, uh, surprisingly, uh, the, the, this device had ran smooth, smooth and fluid for me today, uh, and uh, I used the pen today, and I'm going to kind of show you guys a little things that I was doing today uh, to, to kind of see how this tablet will work in my day-to-day -day use. Uh, first thing I always use, uh, I downloaded Chrome. Again, full-blown Windows 10. So yes, you can uh, install apps, EXE executables on this device. So I download the Chrome browser. And uh, with the Chrome browser, it works uh, very well, no problem. So uh, now I do have the Chrome browser and uh, you know, and I set it as default, no problem, no big deal. And once I press that, it goes into my settings and it asks me, do I want to uh, choose uh, as far as my default? And bam, done. All right, so, it, 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 and the uh, Atom processor, guys, is running very fast and fluid. And that's what I like about it uh, for, for right now with my first 24 hours. Uh, and my OneNote, uh, which I really like, uh, runs very well. I kind of show you guys some samples. Uh, what I kind of use, basically what I do is, if I need to do a quick note, a quick memo, I pop up one note, guys, and uh, you know, I, I just basically grab the pen and then start writing. Now it has palm rejection, which is fine. So it works out very well. So right now I got it in here mode. So let's go ahead and put it in portrait mode. And I mean, it works upon rejection, which is fine. And uh, with the welcome digitizer, it actually does not lag. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I am impressed for the note taking of this device. So, 
Yes, using computer solutions. And I mean, guys, I mean, if you take a look at this, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, a full-fledged Windows PC, lightweight, 8-inch device, uh, and you could dock document your notes and everything which is fine again a palm rejection which is very nice uh when you're dealing with note taking and stuff like that so for college students and everything this uh, portion of works are very well so and it has all your options and everything here so and you you could again full flash a uh, pc going on here guys so yes you could do anything you want to do with this device so uh, and then it, if you have a, a surface device in the surface uh, pin, it has the same functionality uh, as the two buttons on the surface. So I press this button to erase. Nice and easy, nice and fast, nice and fluid. And I tell you, I am shocked uh, at the Atom processor that's working so well uh, right now in this device. All right, real quick. So. Uh, overall, my first 24 hours with this device has been solid. Now, um, I haven't done any games uh, with this yet. Uh, I did download a Photoshop, so I am going to test out Photoshop with the camera and uh, with some pictures in the library. So that works very well. Um, and it does have the Xbox uh, uh, game uh, stuff. And I'm gonna download some games. I'm gonna do a separate video uh, in uh, which is gonna be a total game video. Uh, so that's coming up, guys. And with the two gigs of RAM, I, I, I thought that I would probably be running into uh, some issues, but as you could tell, I got, you know, uh, six, seven, eight apps open right now. And uh, it's running pretty well, you know, kind of going back and forth here. Kind of show y'all guys the performance and i'm gonna tell you for the atom processor I, i'm i'm shocked here because i uh, kind of didn't have high hopes as far as with the atom processor but it works very well all right so another question that i had was um if since this has micro usb on it all right uh, would uh, any peripherals work as far as uh external uh, drives and stuff like that. So yes, you can use uh, external hard drives, uh, which is thumb drives, and but you cannot use the big drives uh, uh, because it doesn't have enough power to power these devices. But yes, you do need a uh, micro SD to a full USB uh, to the device. And uh, the way it works, Basically, you want to plug it up at the bottom here, and once you put in your thumb drive, it will work like so. Boom. All right, so just like in the Windows PC, uh, once you plug in your thumb drive, uh, you do get your menu, and it will tell you your drives. And so here, I could uh, load any media, documents, music, straight from my thumb drive to my PC. So it works. And again, just like a PC, uh, let's go ahead on and uh, all right, so that works. But overall guys, it, the, this device has been surprisingly good uh, for the first 24 hours here. Uh, and I like all the integration that you have here. Now, uh, as far as a productivity device, uh, you again, you can use any Bluetooth keyboard. I wanna kind of give you an example of how I you can use this device. I got a little stand here. So uh, just say if you want the type of paper, kind of put this in perspective here. So I got a little stand here and kind of put this in perspective on the side a little bit. And you can always get you a, a Bluetooth keyboard, like so, put it on the side, and boom. Now you pretty much has a workstation here, guys. I, I got a lot of these Bluetooth keyboards, small, big, large. Uh, I do have some larger uh, Bluetooth keyboards, but I found this one here, it works very well. So basically, if you wanted to uh, type up a document, uh, let's go to Word, and uh, yeah, let's, type in the document using my pen, and you can always uh, hook up a mouse, 
externally or you could uh, get a Bluetooth mouse and it works just as well. So, and let's go to the type up a blank document. And again, full flash PC guys, uh, you get to see all everything that works uh, with this PC. So uh, you can uh, do a lot of work here. This is a test and it works very fast and fluid. So yes, you can use this and rock this out uh, as far as uh, if you a, are a professional or in college. Uh, so this works very well. Listen, guys, I'm going to tell you what I like about uh, Windows devices like this and what I'm liking about this device is that it's uh, small enough uh, that you can put in a very discreet area and it gets the job done. Uh, and uh, something like this with a Bluetooth keyboard and uh, maybe a mouse or uh, maybe something like this, you can get a lot of work done. Remember the power of the PC. I got full uh, version of uh, Word here. Also, uh, you know, you could do anything you want. I have a external hard drive here and it works very well. Now, and that's better than bringing in, you know, the bigger uh, computers wherever you go at so you know this basically what this is is they say if you needed something real quick real small the top of a document to do some email in and stuff like that this works very well now the verizon wireless sim that's inside this device uh, i haven't tested out no other sims yet uh but the verizon wireless do give you 500 megs for free all right so uh, that is pretty exciting. I'm gonna use that 500 megs and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a uh, another SIM card in here. But I'm gonna test out the SIM support, guys. Right now, I don't know if uh, the, the Verizon Wireless is it if it's locked to Verizon Wireless, but I will find out all that information. Uh, but overall, guys, my first 24 hours has been solid. Battery life, ah, you know, I'm it, it's a Windows PC, you know, you, you really can't get think about the, the the battery life and the battery life on paper says six and a half hours all right uh i've gotten i think i worked it a little hard uh, yesterday and i got about four hours four and a half hours and i plugged it up uh but what what you can have a lot of these external hard drives i mean not external hard drive but external power ports and you can plug this in to here because you use micro USB for power. So uh, you could kind of charge this device up at will and it works out pretty well. So business professionals, uh, it, it, you know, it works out, all right? The, the app store is getting better um, and I, I'm gonna do separate videos for this but kind of give you guys a little glance at uh, the, the Microsoft store is getting better, guys. I looked at this store, I was floored. I mean, you got NCAA March Madness going on here. Uh, you have all kinds of good stuff that's, that's hit the, the app store basically overnight, guys. Some of these apps that popped up in here, guys, I didn't know. So we do have a lot of apps that just popped up in the app store, guys. Uh, so that's I'm very excited to see uh, these apps guys that's popping up in this store all of a sudden uh, you know so I am cool with that all right guys just kind of going over my first 24 hours with this device I know this was a long video but I just want to kind of give you guys some more details about this device guys so uh, leave your questions down below let me know what you think about this device Somebody did ask me a question about how much this device costs. Right now, if you're a college student, you could get this uh, for under 300 bucks. So to me, with the welcome digitizer, with the pen support, with everything you could do, 299 is not a bad price for what you get. I am impressed so far. I'm not getting no lag at this point. I've watched YouTube videos at 1080p and I didn't get any lag. So uh, right now I'm impressed a solid battery life is solid uh, for what you get and uh, the pin works very well just like uh, a, a surface pin so stay tuned to e eric with easy computer solutions guys and do all this tech i'm gonna make a lot of videos about this device i'm going into detail in depth these are all detailed in the depth videos that i'm making for this device see you guys on the next video peace